Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler, and today we're going to be talking about how Fabric, Microsoft Fabric, is is worse than you can possibly think it is, or pro probably know that it is. Um, now, before we get into this, I do want to give Microsoft some credit here. Ever since uh, Brent Ozar like called them out for like hiding the fact that a uh, Fabric was down and that sort of thing, I feel like they've done a better job of keeping this uh, this status page up to date and that sort of thing. They've been more open or upfront about issues and that sort of thing. So I do want to give them credit for that. But now, so this is the service status page for Microsoft Fabric. This is where you can submit a ticket and that sort of thing. But first off, for all that Microsoft talks about like accessibility and, and you know, all of that sort of stuff, what is with the eye-wateringly small font that's on this screen? Right, I mean, it's you have. To, I have to use my zoom, at, my zoom, just to be able to read it just normally. And, and this thing's on a huge monitor, um, and they got it to scale down. It doesn't scale with the monitor or anything. I, I can't possibly imagine why they've done it this way. And plus, <laughs> what's with the gray on gray? Hey, let's make sure that people can read this eye-wateringly small freaking print. Let's let's make sure we put some gray on a background of gray because that'll make it a lot easier to read. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? This isn't the normal PR, Power BI forms. Like, even this this font isn't that small, and because it's on white, it's way easy to read, right? Same basic color scheme, but I don't know what they're doing here. Um, so anyway, there's first of all, there's that. All right. So now, in now it says all you have to you have to zoom in to read it, but it says all services are running smoothly. Um, but here's the weird thing about it. It's like they have a they have a see more button. Like, I mean, maybe that makes sense. Uh, they want to keep this on the screen, but then wouldn't the solution be to like, hey, put this up here and put the table down here and show all of it? So I, why why in the world are you hiding stuff? Why why have a see more button at all? That just makes no sense. If we live in the day that like, we can just scroll on our phones, people, and then we just see everything. I mean, this makes no sense. Um, so anyway, so they say everything's hunky dory, all services are running smoothly and everything. But, you know, and these happen to be all resolved, but you'll see things up here where it, things aren't resolved. Um, and they still will say, like, hey, it's all, it's all hunky-dory. And, and now you have all these, everything's green, right? Everything's good. It's all, and, you, and then you have this, all services are running smoothly. But here's the problem. Then you go to known issues. <laughs> oh, look, active issue, active issue, active issue, close, close, active issue. Oh, look, there's a few more. Active issue, active <laughs> issue. Like... So what do you mean it's running smoothly? Lakehouse table maintenance fails for schema-enabled lakehouses, right? Pi 4J error when saving delta table on fabric? <laughs> How is this running smoothly? When there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six active issues just going on within data engineering alone, right? And yeah, the, the, and the solutions that they give, the workarounds are hilarious to read, let me tell you. All right, so there's now there's six, right? I don't want this to become another counting with Greg episode, but you know, all these are active. So that's it's like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, we got another view more. <laughs> so look how bad Data Factory is. But it's running smoothly. It's it's all it's all green checkboxes according to Microsoft. Data science has problems, data warehouse has oh, view more, data warehouse has problems, databases, databases have problems. What about one lake? One lake has problems. What about the platform in whole? Yep, even the platform as a whole has problems. What about real-time intelligence? Oh, yep, it has problems too. Power BI. And this this is view more, right? Look at all these all these active issues with Power BI. Oh, oh, oh more view more. Like, how is this running smoothly? How? How can you say this? It's like, well, we know about the issue. But so once we identify and know about the issue, we immediately put it back to, hey, it's all hunky dory because we know what the issue is. No, the issue is still there. It's the issue that were reported and initially caused, you know, probably there to be an information box or something. And like, well, we don't know what the problem is. So we'll put an information box up or say, oh, something's something's, you know, degraded or whatever. But once we know the issue, we're going to put it over here and then, well, everything's running hunky dory. <laughs> it's the most hysterical thing I think I've seen. Uh, it's hilarious. So, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so, according to this, it's all services are running smoothly, despite, like, having 
I don't know how many, I lost count of, of how many, like dozens upon dozens of active problems. Right? So, but it's all running smoothly. So there you have it. Microsoft Fabric, worse than you think it is. That's all I have in this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.